Alrighty, welcome back everyone to Redneck Gaming. I am Shu, and this is Hydroneer. Alrighty, it took it took a lot of fishing and a lot of digging, but let me show you what I got so far. I got my pipe ran over here. I got ran down into my hole that I dug. And made a little pit here. Originally, I had water dripping down here. So I make it easier to clean. And I dug out this area here. Picked up some of these conveyors. Now, where's my shovel? I can use my shovel. <laughs> Scoop. Pop it up here. Just keep doing this. Which is kind of hit and miss. But for the majority, I'd say 90% of the time, you get something on top of the conveyor. And I'll show you here in a second what it looks like up top. Because deeper you dig, better better your uh, rewards are. So we're gonna drop this shovel. We're gonna go up here and this is what it looks like up top. The stuff comes up, pops in, it gets grinded and shoots out there. See, it comes across, goes across here, goes up here, gets grinded, then just shoots out of here. And once this little bit gets done, we're going to run it up to the uh, jeweler, and we're going to see how much we got just with this quick. And I picked this little grinder thing up from right here. It's also got a little drill. I'm thinking about getting a drill and just letting it drill over here. Or see if I can put it underground. Alright, so there's that. I'm going to pick this up. Take it down here because I was doing some, some mining down here. And let's see. I got some pieces here. I'm going to clean this up and then we're going to go to the jeweler. There we go. 1,259 coins. So we'll get that. Pick that up. Drop that off. Hmm. Drop that off in there. And now we got some more coins. And we'll go up here. Now we got some more coins. We'll drop this off here. And now this here. Now these you're gonna get one because he changed them back up. So you know you only get one of each of these things. Looks like a good enough spot. And then eventually, I'm gonna purchase some more uh, these conveyor belts and then get this thing to pump out. Shift everything over here. And then use this with this thing, this gem polisher hook. But I think we have to get something to break the uh, gems first. But I also got one of these things, this Splitter Conveyor Alt. I got one of these, but I'm gonna have to try to figure out how that thing works too. But at least we got some way of 
uh, moving the stuff. So, just in a so now that we have, now that we have an empty bucket, and now I'm stuck in stuck it. There we go. Let's see what it'll take to uh, how long it takes to fill this thing up. Oh boy. Shit, shit, shit made this thing a little bit lower to the ground. Dig it as fast as I can go. All right, let's see what we got. Let's see what we got up here so far. It's nighttime again. It gets nighttime too too much here. There we go. Seems to be working pretty good. And that should be about it right up here. That last piece right there. And we get gold ore from it. Alrighty. Pretty good little haul. So it looks like uh, if I keep doing this some, we to get some more. If I can get this drill up and operational and make this automated, we should be able to uh, increase this up some better. So. Hopefully you found this uh, educationally entertaining. If so, go ahead and hit the thumbs up button. Uh, if you know anything that uh, they can they can help me uh, automate this, throw it in the comments. Cause uh, if you know how this thing is supposed to work, this gem polisher, do I put it on something? I don't know, I'm trying to figure out how this thing is supposed to, I mean it spins when I put it on here, but I put, can I rotate it? Oh, I can rotate it. I guess you have to have a gem on it or something? I don't know. Alright, but yeah, if, you, if anybody knows how that thing works, let me know. Alright. Until next time, y'all be safe out there.